Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to Clumsy Trucking Friday. How's everyone doing? <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> We're late again. Just five minutes late this time. Bring back the old intro. Ban that. Ban that troll. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining, guys. Nice to see so many familiar faces and some new ones as well. Thanks for joining. Let's go through each and every one if I can. First, indeed, hey Ark. How are you, man? How are you liking Max's sounds? Galvin Olo. How's it going? I saw something about a sound mod detox. We might just need that. <clears throat> and yes, this is not the next gen Scania yet. We'll get there soon enough. But this is my favorite truck still. <laughs> so let's leave that as the wallpaper. Hey, Patrick. How are you doing, man? Fancy seeing you here as well. Hey, Asap. Thanks for joining. Welcome. Hey, Buster. How's Aveo? <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? NL. Glad you could make it. Thanks for joining. Simple, no problem. Super excited for the bus as well. Hopefully. That should be coming very soon, huh? Late March. Yes. Super, how are you? Thanks for joining. Glad you could make it. Bow bow. Just in time, huh? Not like me, late. <laughs> Scotsman first ish. Yeah, ban that guy. <laughs> you wanna be famous? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> Yar Jack. Thanks for the stream a while ago. Sorry I couldn't uh, interact so much. I was trying to multitask. Setting up the truck here last minute. Good sound mods, all three of them. Which ones are those? Z mods, uh, V8, Next Gen Scania by Max, and then what else is the other one? I think we are good. I hope I didn't miss anybody. <laughs> Band plus, that's the one. Exactly. Exactly. Did I miss anyone else? I will catch up if ever. Thanks for joining, everybody. The sound by Max is awesome. So if you guys haven't seen the video yet, if someone can link it, who, who has access to link, okay? Oh, Alex is here. I'm sure he can link that. <laughs> hey, Alex. Thanks for making it, man. How was the hunt with Jack? I saw you managed, was that you managed to shoot the foot of a, was it a deer? <laughs> You're later than I am. Zmods, Max, and Krishboom. Oh, Krishboom. Yes, indeed. Was it his Iveco sounds or something else? Slow up the game here. Good truck in the background. Hey, Derek. Yes, that's my favorite. The Scania R4 series with that paint job. Looking as classic as ever. Now, we'll have to override that though. There you go. And let me see if that works like so. Okay, good. <clears throat> How's everyone doing? Have you guys all tested it out? Um, if you guys could link this one, there is a video. Well, maybe you can watch it later. But Max released his own... It's actually version 4 already, and I wasn't able to check out the older versions, so I wasn't sure about the quality, but this one, he released a video on it. And what he did was he did it side by side, like he had the sounds in-game, and then the next scene would be the sounds from real life from the truck. So like the startup sounds comparing the in-game versus the real one, stop sounds, the under load, and all that stuff. And so you can really hear the accuracy of it. And it's all filled with so many nice details. So that's what we're going with mainly today. Oh, and I have that fancy stuff, right? Where was it? One sec. Let's use it. I don't get to use that often. There you go. So you can see the entire mods list. 
Uh, nothing really fancy though. No map mod whatsoever. I do have all of Z mod sounds enabled though. Uh, but yes, the engine itself will be using from Max. And then I have the Garmin GPS mod by LXCP. That is in the mods list now as well. Thanks a lot to Alex. Yeah, the Alexes of the world are great. <laughs> LXCP released or updated his Garmin GPS. Just nothing fancy, but it's, it's nice for a change. You know? seeing a bit of difference and if you want to get triggered for those with OCD look at all the exclamation points here the incompatibilities and missing mods that's how lazy I am I don't even want to clean it up <laughs> guys triggered yet also Babo I think I had a question um, not sure if you're able to answer in discord this one I really want but it's not yet compatible with 140 I think not sure if you had to overwrite that in the the manifest file or there is an offline version. But yeah, that, this really goes well with the truck I set up. So we'll go with that. Get, let me get back to chat. Let me get my face back in. There you go. Thanks a lot, Alex. Appreciate it. Okay, let's load it up. Release updated sounds from 138. Ah, yes, yes, right. The V8 open pipe. Yes, true. I heard that. Haven't been able to check it because I have been so immersed with Zmod's V8 sounds. Your OCD is kicking in. You guys want to see my game log? <laughs> Unfollowing because of the mods folder. How much more when you see my beautiful game log? Look at this. This profile, guys, has been through a lot. I, I used this profile back in the day when I thought you could just put in maps remove them without any effect so now all the maps I added and all those missing cities are always in red here and this is only part of it right, that's just like a start of good things to come start of red things to come more like so, <laughs> you like the color red anyway oh, it'll, it'll fit right in if it works right as long as we don't get stutters 0 to 25 percent oh did you guys watch the iberia stream from ses yesterday i was so happy to see my goodness they literally filled out the entire what is this called peninsula this entire thing <laughs> from spain and portugal they actually filled it out because with even with pro mods right we only get spain up to like one fourth of it but they managed to fill it out. My goodness, I'm so excited for Iberia. Or someone would say Iberia. So that's why we are starting off as close as we can to Iberia here in Bayonne. And then we'll go, I don't know, probably east, wherever the jobs take us. Right, we'll see. <clears throat> Let me catch up if I... I wouldn't say all the Alexes. <laughs> Maybe there are exceptions. Yeah, maybe there are exceptions. <laughs> yeah, they've shown the map. Scan shared that screenshot in Discord. If you guys want to see how it looks. There's the Garmin GPS. There's Rex, our trusty dog. Very nice truck. Very easy on the eyes. Quite fancy here on the outside. Some chromy bits. Let's hear the engine. I actually haven't tested it out myself. I only checked that it works, but I haven't really heard it in detail. So you guys will have to test it out with me together. Oh, that's loud. It's nice. The sound a lot more refined. That is very nice. And the idle sounds are very detailed as well. Why does it feel like I'm not in the center of the thing though? One second, huh? I just my seat here. Why does it feel like I'm not off? No, that's okay. That's okay. That's just me. Never mind. We might have to lower the audio a bit though. 
because I think I'm still maxed it. I still have it maxed out. Z mods usually have it has it recommended to max out the sounds here. Might have to mid everything, maybe even the interior sounds, and then we'll tweak from there. So far, so good. I'm liking that refined sounds. Yeah, but it is so detailed. Even when you turn on the retarder, I think there's that like air pressure sound. That's just from turning on the retarder. And I think the biggest part of this one is the parking brake. And when you turn off the engine with the parking brake off, you actually get these warning sounds. I'm not sure how he implemented that. This is the first truck I've seen that has that. So you have to turn on the parking brake to disable the sounds. If I remove it, ah, it doesn't come up. I'm not sure if it should, but that's nice. Very nice attention to detail there. Good. Could listen to these sounds all day and night. I know, right? Dual 27 inch or ultra wide? If it's dual, I'll probably go with the ultra wide. But it's, if it's triple, I'll probably go with a triple because that's what I have right now. Dual monitor is not very good for gaming. You get an extra monitor for utility, but you can't really use that for gaming because you'll have the, the, the bezel right in the middle of your screen, which is not very nice for gaming. But it's a great utility. So one monitor for gaming, one for utilities. Oh, there we go. Very nice and fluid, especially when you let go of the gas. Just ramps down very slowly. Doesn't get cut off at all. How are we on the dashboard lights? Should we max that out? So the Garmin GPS is not adjustable. I wish they would add an option for that. Any accessory right now is not adjustable in terms of brightness. What I like about this one though, from Alex AP, and I want to discover how that works because I want to do that for my own, like, the phone GPS. When you have this Garmin GPS enabled, it automatically disables the default GPS, the GPS from the default trucks. So you don't get that double GPS, which looks very weird. I'm not sure how to do it in the files, but I would not want to learn. So. I'll I'll have to dig in through those files later and discover it. Hey Max! Thank you for your amazing sounds, man. Feel free to share more insights here on the entire process. I'd love to hear more about the behind the scenes stuff. This actually let me get into a next-gen Scania again. Because as great as this truck is, it is very famous and sometimes it's less appealing to me that way because I see it everywhere already. Like, the, the novelty wears off. We catch up, sorry. Didn't expect such detail. I think there are even like compressor sounds. What are compressor sounds even? When I watch the video, there are some fancy terms. Well, fancy for me, because I'm very ignorant about the actual engine, engine parts and sounds. But I think Max was testing out when the engine was loaded, when you were stepping on the accelerator, you could hear the compressor in there. Oh, that's a bit of a shame on the GPS, huh? It actually hides away the GP the speed limit. That might be a bit of a like a semi-conflict with the Google GPS mod. Hmm. Alright, I'll have to take a look. Great work on the sounds, man. Indeed. Thank you for dropping by the stream. Oh crap.
Yeah. It's nice that you can turn off the default GPS this way. That's true, that's very true. For productivity, the 2x27 could work. But for gaming, I would say ultra wide is definitely better. Does the horn have a different sound? That's a good point. I almost never try out the horn because I'm <laughs> I'm not going to use the word. Uh, I, I don't use the horn much. It does have a different sound, I think. I'm not sure if the air horn has it though, but I think the normal horn has a, has a different sound. The compre compressor was on right now. It's the air compressor which is building up the air for the brakes. Oh. So it it turns on when you have when you step on the accelerator. Is that how it works? Let's take a photo of this beautiful truck here. And of course with an IKEA load. That works for me. Actually might be worthy for a thumbnail shot already. Well, we'll see. Still plenty of time to go. Hey super! Thanks for that gift, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome to the Cool Kids Club, Max. Least we could do. Join the fun. And of course, can't beat the bridge shot. My goodness. You guys notice this lighting? It actually feels like we have a graphics mod enabled. I think they tweaked the lighting yet again. I like that look. It's a bit subdued. There's like a, a very subtle filter, but I like it. I'll have to listen harder for that compressor. But that's a very nice detail, Max. Thank you. Turn off the music here. Yeah, I would say go for the ultra white Calvin. GG super. Here's the turbo. The turbo, the turbo whistle I can distinguish. The compressor I'm still trying to trying to place. With the next gen scanner, do you guys know if this has an engine brake? Because you can enable it, like so. Or does it mainly use the retarder to slow down, like this one? I do love the additional detail of that air pressure coming out when you turn on the retarder. I don't think I've heard that in other trucks. <clears throat> Definitely. Hey Reaper! Sorry, wasn't able to greet you a while ago. Yeah, because of Max's sounds, if you look at our Discord server, yeah, the, the link is up there. Alex posted it. Thanks, Alex. If you guys join the Discord server, if you haven't yet, go to the Truck Sim channel where we share new screenshots and stuff. You'll see that something like 9 out of 10 photos that are being shared right now from different people are all from a next-gen Scania. And that just says something about how good the sounds are. Because in this community, in our community, we are a bit of sound mod snobs. Is that an accurate description, guys? Yeah, we're a bit picky with our sounds, and even me, who personally knows I know nothing about the, the, the intricacies of engines, you know? I cannot even distinguish what, what engine it is if I hear it, so I'm not that kind of guy. But what I can do is I can distinguish if an engine sound is good or bad, you know? <laughs> That's the extent of my abilities, but still, I am very picky with those sounds. So for me personally, it doesn't matter as much if it sounds realistic or not, as long as it sounds good. But here, I think in this case, we have it sounding good and realistic at the same time, as proven by that video from Max with the side-by-side -side comparison. Very nice idea. Cool stuff. Yeah, nice to see we have amazing sound mods coming out now. Motors really filling in the gaps, both free and paid. 
the likes of Max, the likes of Zemo, the likes of Krishbom, and EVR is making a comeback as well. Great to see all the talented people in the community. <clears throat> of course, ideally, I would still prefer that these were embedded into the default game. Have you guys heard of that? Um, for those who are... Uh, this really made a huge impact for me. Have you guys heard of that recent news in the flight simulator world? So for those who are not up to date, so Fli Microsoft Flight Simulator, they allow mods, right? And there is this group of people who banded together to create freeware mods to improve the planes. The name of the team is, is called Working Title. That's the name of the team. And they have been garnering a lot of reputation in the community because they work for free. They don't accept donations at all. And they're just making all the planes that they're working on so much better. For me personally, my favorite plane overall is one of their work, the CJ4. Suffice to say, they've done a tremendous contributions to the community. And why this is so impactful to me is because yesterday, Microsoft Flight Simulator, Microsoft announced that Working Title is actually working with them now. So the Working Title guys literally left their jobs to work on this full time. So they basically got absorbed in a nutshell. And can you imagine if we would get something similar in the trucking world? The likes of Max, Zemo, and Krishbo. You know, all their works, all the EVR, their works actually getting into the default game. My goodness, that is the dream. All these minds grouping together. That's a win-win-win for everybody. I hope SES would have something like that, a program. Because they have shown such kind of track record before, right? Some uh, very active community members before, they have absorbed into SES. So it's not impossible. They have done it in a smaller scale. So hope we get to see that on the sound modding, then on the sound department as well. So we get some very nice default sounds. And sorry, I'm not catching up with chat. I'm very far behind. I'll, I'll catch up, I'll catch up. <clears throat> From 2000 to 1500, when you just let it slowly go down, exactly, yeah. It's a very nice ramp down of the sounds. Very subtle. Max has ruined us. <laughs> yeah, I definitely agree, Buster. Sounds are just in as important as graphics. I would argue they're even more important in my case. The graphics can be not as good. It shouldn't suck. But it can be not as good as long as the sounds are amazing. For me personally. The compressor activates in real life when the air pressure is under a certain value. Ah, I see. In your mod, you've added it so the, it sometimes comes on after starting the engine. And also when the air tanks are completely full. It's not possible. Okay, I see. So there are some limitations with how to implement that accurately in the game. So even if it's full, it turns on sometimes. But at least you get that building up sound. Is it that one? <laughs> I'm still trying to play. So <laughs> if you were to describe a compressor sound for me, for a guy who's clueless about these things, how would you describe it so I could recognize it? Because like the turbo whistle I could recognize, right? The, the shifting gear sounds I could recognize. But the compressor? How would you describe that to someone who knows nothing about engines? <laughs> oh, I'm speeding here. SES has an excuse for bad default sounds. Too many good sound modders. <laughs> they can't desire to do the higher. Yeah. That would be great though. If you could integrate that eventually. We'll see. Not such a fan of this combination. Because the speed limit is getting blocked. I might need to remove it in the meantime. We'll have to probably settle with the default GPS. Or my phone GPS should work as well, I think. I might actually try that. We'll see. Don't forget pro mods. Oh yeah. I'm not so sure how that will work though. Yes. Be 
maybe SES doesn't have much funds for that yet. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not sure what the conflict could be. I don't think it's money. Because in terms of hiring one person, two persons, I don't think that should be too expensive for them. They have hundreds of employees already. Maybe the works are... I don't know. They have to be licensed or something. I have no idea what the barriers could be. Maybe there is a conflict with the people they're trying to hire outside the country or I have no idea. Well, that, it would be great to get more like insider stuff in there. It'd be interesting to know more. And Jim Break is one of the worst sounds in your mod. Just don't use it that often. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I'll have to unlearn it because I've, I'm pretty much used to using the engine brake for slowing down. It's the most accessible to me. And it's because I got used to driving in the US where jake brakes are very uh, uh, rampant. But I'll try. I'll try to use the retarder as much as I can. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Very hard to record the engine brake without any noises. Okay, let's try it. Retarder. It's a bit far from my reach. I do like the sound of that. Although it does seem like this, the air's, the air coming out. Is that normal that it's like repeatedly coming out in rapid succession? Or am I doing something wrong? All central. Welcome to France. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hey Tom. Is it true that Sim Update 4 will have turbo props coming in like Dash 4 or 8? Um I don't think it's going to I don't think it's Sim Update 4. Well although they did say Sim Update so the reason I'm late today is because I got I, I slept late last night. And I slept late last night because I watched the entire QA from Microsoft Flight Sim. That's where I saw the announcement of the working title getting absorbed and different questions. Looks like World Update 5 and Sim Update 4 are coming together at the same time. And one of those, they, Jorg started teasing, the head of Microsoft Flight Sim, he, there might be a new plane. So that might be a thing, Jack. He didn't really specify which plane it was. And he didn't want to commit yet, but he was saying that there could be something that's coming out. Because in that sim update 4, they're going to fix the turboprop um, logic as well. So maybe, I'm assuming those are turboprops. <clears throat> oh, don't want to take a nap. Yeah, actually I didn't find the engine sounds or engine braking sounds. For me, they're fine, but I'm sure you have a more objective analysis of it. So I'll trust your judgment there. Engine driven compressors. Sounds like an aircon noise. Ah, I see. Very deep in bassy sound, and maybe start the truck later when you arrive at your destination at multiple times. Maybe you can hear it then. Ah, good, good tip. Alright, thanks, Max. We'll try it out later. We'll hang out in the mechanical, replace the GPS, and uh, we will try and distinguish those compressor sounds. There, that one. Is, that, is it there? Is it open right now? Or is it just displacing it? Because I, I get confused. So there's a compressor. So th the compressor is for the air pressure on the brakes. So I guess that's different from like the fan in the engine, right? The fan that's used to cool the engine. Does the next gen Scania have a fan like that? Because I, I remember in other mods, like uh, I think some of Krish Boom's mods, he has like a no fan version and a fan version. I remember EVR having the same thing. And I remember those kicking off and sometimes those get very loud, the fans. But I guess those are two very different things, huh? <laughs> what country? It's France and Benelux. Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. So those four. 
they teased a little bit of that in the Q&A that I watched last night. Looks very promising. That was very raw. So far, so looking forward to what's coming with that. Hey, wise man, how are you? Could actually hear a sound that sounds the same as the fan of the exterior unit of an air conditioner. Ah, that might be the compressor. Yeah, the fan option. Some of them have a fan option. Canada World Update. Oh yeah. I hope that will come eventually. And then we'll tour it again. Orange bar for the GPS. I'm actually not sure. Because I, I saw through so this version 1.4 of the Garmin GPS by Alexei P. And the 1.3, the older version, I saw that there was an there were two versions of 1.3. One was with the menu, one was without. I actually prefer it without because I'm assuming that these orange and white bars are the menu. It simulates how the Garmin GPS looks like in real life, I guess. But I don't like it. I'd rather have it like full, just show me the map. But I didn't see that option for 1.4. Not sure if I just missed it. But yeah, I don't think it's very compatible with the Google GPS with where the speed limits are placed. Uh, retarder. Yeah, the, that uh, sound kicking off. So that was all retarder. Didn't even step on the gas. Not even a centimeter. <laughs> Powerful stuff. Where are we going? Is it right here? I think so. You like it. <laughs> the previous version of your Scania L6 sound also had a fan sound. But you removed it in version 4. Ah, I see. It doesn't turn on on the Scania NG in real life very often. One time a day, wow. Okay. I guess it's very optimized now, huh? Doesn't need like an external cooling or an auxiliary cooling fan to cool down. Nice. So that's definitely different from a compressor, good to know. Love the sound of the blinkers. I also like that combination when the truck shifts and then you have that shifting sound and then the air coming out. <laughs> of course, these, these are the technical terms I'm using. Fuso? <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, that guy. <laughs> no, but it's a good truck. How about the Hino Prof? Yeah. Still haven't tried the Hino Prof. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. I'm still waiting for Project Japan to be 140 compatible. Then we'll get back on the Hino Prof. Yeah, and uh, I will try and use the new dashboard. This bug with the air sound and the retarder you had right now is not normal. Sounds like it's turning on and off. Yeah, I wonder why that is. If I just step on the brakes, it works. Works just fine. But if I just use the retarder... Yeah, you can see it turning on and off there. You can see it blinking. That might be my pedals somehow. Noisy pedals, I think. I probably need to add a dead zone in there. Yeah, good catch, Max. Radiator does the trick. No need for a fan. Ah, I see. 
unless it's 40 degrees that's reasonable something I'm curious about I'm imagining in the next gen Scania with a truck this modern I would imagine that in reality the engine sound is actually very quiet much quieter than what we're hearing but since this is a sim and as simmers we love the engine sounds we're very happy with it being loud so that's a, a trade-off away from realism that we are more than willing to accept is that statement accurate for this truck that's just my assumption from what i've heard from other comments before they say you can actually like speak to someone on the passenger seat in a normal voice you don't even have to raise your voice and you guys will be able to hear each other even with the engines running and everything Oh yeah, that's a new sound as well. I think this is the first truck that I've heard having custom opening window sounds. Very nice. Nice attention to detail, Max. And wiper up. Even the flick of the wiper is there. Oh, there it is. And look, I'm waiting for it because there's a random squeak, right? There you go. <laughs> and it's not always there, which is nice. Otherwise, it would get irritating. Okay, get back to chat in a bit. Spark this thing. Oh, I love the sound of the engine from outside. No insulation at all. You hear all the crottiness. Yes, that's a term. That's a term I invented. And that looks like a wrong parking, but let's do that again. So much quieter with almost all modern trucks, almost exactly like a car. Yeah, makes sense. But where would the fun be in that, right? If you try and simulate that to the T. I get, I get some, I get those kinds of comments every now and then from real truck drivers, something along the lines of. If this is how my truck sounds like, I, first thing I do is bring it to the mechanic or something along those lines. But yeah, that's a trade-off I'm willing to pay. This truck is very hissy, huh? Lots of hissing going around. Hey Jesse, thanks for joining. How's American trucking? Yeah, the extra noise is random. <clears throat> you could hear your loading guy eating while you drove. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yay, plus. Boo. -hoo. Bye. Goodbye from the Cool Kids Club, Scotsman. <laughs> Ban that guy. <laughs> In an MEN. Oh, nice. So, where do you guys want to go? Well, we have a few limited options. This being the default map. We can go to... Yeah, maybe we can go here, huh? For a bit of a difference. Cross over and then cross over. Yeah, I get my meaning. <laughs> for a change. I think I like that. Let's go with that. Uh, all port. Okay. Where was it? Wait a minute. There. Okay, good. <clears throat> 3567. Nice. Thanks, Alex. Now we have to drop by a mechanic. I'm going to change the GPS. I hope there's something here. There is. Okay, good, good. Although I can't click on anything. Why? Am I missing something? Okay, uh, let's just do this old school. Um, we go out of here, turn left towards the roundabout, and then take the first exit there. If I can remember all of that. <laughs> Basic instructions. Oh, I wanted to hear the compressor. Hi. 
I like that hiss at the end. Let me know when you hear it, okay? Actress OM four seventy nice. Awesome stuff, Max. There, there. <laughs> that one. I'm sure that's the one. Ah, it is very distinct. Cool. I thought that was the engine. <laughs> Will it turn off? Oh, it does. Ah, okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, there it is again. Okay, I can distinguish it now. Thank you. Perfect. All right, now I get it. Amazing stuff. <laughs> You nailed the sound, Alex. I can almost imagine it. As you can see, we are sound experts in here. Oh yes, we are very technical guys when it comes to that. That's how we do stuff here. But yeah, I love getting into the weeds of these kinds of sounds. Learning about these things. Where normally I wouldn't be exposed to such kinds of things. Love learning about it. Oh, that can work. I think there's even... Left, right, left, right. Oh yeah, we don't have a separate axle. Because there is even a custom axle sound, if I remember correctly, when you raise them. I wonder if... Is that custom? It's been a while since I've heard a, an axle lift. Because the trailer has one. I like it. Good. Ooh, I'm going to hit the trailer. I'm trying to place when, it, when the compressor starts kicking in. Let me see if I can recognize it while it's on the go. You were betting I would forget the mechanic, weren't you? <laughs> I still remember it for now, for now. Nice. Great stuff, Max. This is all free. Just going to make it very accessible to everyone. Yeah, I would gladly pay for this myself, but not everyone would. So it's a it's a great decision. To keep it free. Do you accept donations though, Max? Because people can donate if they really want to support you. <sighs> cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're the critics here. <laughs> the technical critics. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. I'm still not over the great news over in the flight sim stuff, guys. It's uh, it's the dream. It's the dream come true for the working title, guys. And for us as well as the community members. But I am dreaming of something like that in the future, you know. Because like... Like in my case, I have a full-time job and then I, I do this on the side, right? And I'm just imagining if I was in their shoes, if I got an offer to get absorbed by Microsoft, my goodness, I would jump at that opportunity. And I can imagine why they were so ecstatic about it. I was talking with Dominic. I think Dominic is his name. I, f I finally found it out because he he was in an interview with Navigraph, the person I'm working with in the for the CJ4 charts, 
I got a uh, an early QA build there for the plane, and I was helping them test stuff out, and I was previewing it. So I talked with him and I congratulated them for that news, and yeah, he was super happy about it. And he was saying something about he's so happy that he no longer has to feel guilty because now this is his full-time work and he can really do it without like, compromising anything or something along those lines. Of course, I'm adding some flame for text, but you get what I mean. Cool stuff. Ah, that's a nice combo. <clears throat> Bao Bao is hungry. Cro croissant. Okay, if I get rid of this, question is, will the GPS reappear? I don't think so. I think I will have to remove the mod completely. But then again, I have a different idea because I, I'm seeing my favorite cell phone mod here. And of course, I'm biased. I'll do that. We'll see if we can use the GPS to our advantage, the Garmin GPS. So even if we're not using the GPS, the Garmin GPS itself, we are using its feature of turning off the default GPS from trucks. Maybe that will work. We'll see. But for that to happen, we also have to have this phone GPS for me so that we see the speed limit even in a phone GPS like what we are using. Ascania in a Renault workshop. Close your eyes. <laughs> I, I am hoping for a very nice Renault sound. Renault Range T. I think it will be great for the surrounding areas in France, Spain, in Portugal. I don't know, it just like fits. Maybe I'm getting brainwashed because I see SES driving Renault Range Ts all over as they explore Iberia. So let's see if this works. Uh, I should have it here ready. There you go. Turn it on. It works, guys. We don't have double GPS. Okay, so even if you don't like the Garmin GPS itself, even just for the fact of turning off, and off the default GPS, you can actually use it and then use a different accessory. Nice. Now that's a techie guy. <laughs> that's how technical we get here. Iveco, please no. <clears throat> Looks good. Hey, Dwarfy. How have you been? Still driving with Z-Mod sounds? Can't blame me there. <laughs> AV, how's it going, man? I am super excited for the bus. The bus is coming out, what is it, March 25 in early access. I will definitely play, be playing that. And I think there's a multiplayer functionality, so Jack, you might be interested in that. Alex, you might be interested as well. We'll see how it works. Might be some fun times ahead. Snow runner like. <laughs> but inside Berlin. <laughs> no ah 25th, but no MP just yet. Okay, I see. So we can warm up but don't no MP yet. Alright, we can we can do that as a warm-up. Oh that's nice. Didn't notice that. Even the light switches guys sound different. When you're turning on the lights, it sounds like this. But when you turn it off, there's that stronger flick, like you're going through a detent. Nice attention to detail there. What is this? Traffic light draft right after the roundabout. So now we have to block the pedestrian lane. He said it. <laughs> Snow runner, <laughs> the forbidden word. The game that shall not be named. <laughs> you hate the standard GPS on dashboard, you love the phone. Nice, yeah. This this is a perfect combo. So enable Alex AP's Garmin GPS mod and then use the phone GPS in addition in my GPS mod. All the different combinations, it works though. It works good as well dwarfy i'm actually i actually have a long weekend so me and mrs clumsy we are having a long weekend right now i'm on vacation from my work today so after this we'll be going out 
<laughs> Neo, I need a break. The work is fun and everything, but it's super busy and I need some downtime. Sorry, habits die hard. I use the engine rig again. <laughs> it's kind of truck, so you can adjust the dashboard lights. It would be awesome to have it in the sim. Ah. Well, we do have an option for dashboard lights, even the GPS in the dashboard. I'm not sure if you've tinkered with that already. The F4 adjust lights, this one. That works not for the ones on the windshield, but it works for the actual dashboard, including the GPS on the dashboard. I wonder what SES is still doing with 140, why they haven't decided to release it yet. Oh, and by the way, have they fixed? Maybe that's what they are fixing. Oh, yo, 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 what the heck is that guy? You could actually see him creeping up inch by inch towards our trailer and it just never stopped. Did, do you guys hear echoes in tunnels and under bridges now? Let's test this out. Because I've been reading the SES forums and I think there is an explanation why that happens. I don't really understand why they decided like that. Still nothing, dang it. So. I was reading some discussions in the forums and apparently, I don't know why they did it, but SES decided to untangle that feature that if you're a bridge, if you're a tunnel, you don't get rain, right? So if you go under a bridge, if you go inside the tunnel, you don't get any rain there. But at the same time, because it has that property, however you call it, it also means, <clears throat> sorry, it also means you get an echo. So I think they untangled it so that you can have no rain or you can, yeah you can you can block the rain because it's a shelter but you have no echo so you can have them separate now the side effect is I think they have to program each bridge each tunnel they have to set the parameter okay you have the echo you don't have the echo and maybe it makes sense, right, for bridges, because you probably won't hear an echo or shouldn't hear an echo here, in there. Oh, we get to try out the, the wiper for real now. Hear those random squeaks. Turn on the lights here. Long weekend, yes. Oh, yeah. That should help a bit, Calvin. Few builds for the beta over the week. Yeah, they've been really hard at work at it. Looks like they haven't uh, found the perfect balance yet. They're still tweaking. I'm liking it so much already though. There's a squeak of the wiper. Sounds like Rex barking sometimes actually. Wasn't that him? Let's wait for it again. <laughs> Death wish, which one? The van? Yeah. He had. Yeah, some. I guess some tunnels would be fixed if they manage to turn that option on for that specific tunnel. But imagine all the work that would need, right? Each tunnel that they have, they would have to go through and tick that box, metaphorically speaking, or maybe literally speaking. And I'm not sure how it works, but yeah. So it might require a bit of uh, manual work. But I guess it's for the better in the long run. So that the echo wouldn't be there every time. They can decide where it makes sense and where it doesn't. Oh crap. I, retarder in reach. Thanks to my stream deck. No side panel though. <laughs> Jack will not be happy. Hey Olaf, let us know if you're looking for any specific mods. Maybe we can help out. There we go. Rex, behave. I remember that, was that barking sound or like a, a crying sound from a dog? 
I was hearing. I think it was the in the Cummins N14. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was close. I almost forgot. But yes, with the rain, you actually get modified physics now. I do have the rain and wiper sounds from Z mod, but I think those are generic sounds. So if a truck has specific sounds, I think the one from the truck will get loaded in. That's why we're still hearing Max's sounds here, which is nice. Although the water drops, I think, are from Z mod's mod already. See, I think he also modified the water drops. Let me know if you notice it. Side panel, ban that guy. <laughs> We need to replace the craft vehicle with a ban, <laughs> with a ban hammer. <sighs> it's my job. Ah, the vintage cars, yeah, that's super fancy. Living the dream right there. <clears throat> Do you drive one yourself, Alex? classic car a vintage now you must start bridge spotting bridges really don't have an echo yeah that's true I don't really notice echoes in bridges because they mean they're not enclosed are they so I guess it's not really realistic to have echoes in them a tunnel that's a different story so I guess that overall that's a very good decision from SES that they decided to have that extra parameter so they have more flexibility, more realism. It's just a lot of work to transition to that new option. Last time you were in a car was 2014. Do buses count? <laughs> What's a side panel? Oh no, don't let... <laughs> Don't get started with Jack. This would be like the the equivalent of true racks. The explanation of true racks for Alex or the explanation of driving time from Jack. It will have no end. You don't usually work on stuff newer than 1950. My goodness. As vintage as it gets, huh? No one, no wonder you laugh at us when we say steam gauges. Like, you call that classic? <laughs> that state of the art. Horse and cart V8. You turned off reverb. Ah, I see. This is the Scania Next Gen by SES Olaf. <coughs> oh, sometimes the squeaky things are in rapid succession. It is truly random, that's nice. fake news right there <laughs> I think the first part of the sentence was accurate enough but the last part I think that's all um, the, a figment of Jack's imagination <laughs> we never said yes <laughs> oh crap a lot if he was Santa. <laughs> Doesn't need a car when he has Rudolph. Might be a bit too early for Santa though. Just a tad. Hey Usman, have you been? 
really liking this updated lighting. It looks so natural, doesn't it? So easy on the eyes. Nothing too extravagant. Just perfect for long hauls. You can drive as much as you want without straining your eyes. <laughs> you might find the Mexican boat again. Don't go back too much. Buster, thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate it. Good luck with the Aveo thing. We'll be waiting in Flight Sim Channel. I actually have never tried Aveo before. Bad Sim, yes, but Aveo not. I think the only graphic mod we would ask for is a Skybox mod. Yeah, that's true. Better Skyboxes would be great. Although, personally, it wouldn't be a, for me, not a critical thing. It would be a nice to have. I would rather they focus on sounds. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm very bad with SCS, but yes, I like everything except the sounds. Uh, no, no, to be honest, to be perfect with it. I like everything except the truck sounds, because the other sounds are great already. Traffic, train, interior. They're all good, but yeah, the truck sounds themselves leave a lot to be desired. That and anti-aliasing. Those are the two main things that I am craving for. Other people, yeah, the, the Q&A episode we had where I, I think the title was something like, Should SES Create a New Game? A lot of guys got triggered there. A lot of guys got woke in a good way because we started the conversation and it was great to hear all your opinions and yes I, re I realized that yes I forgot about it but the gameplay elements we actually really need multi drops more stuff to do with managing the trucking empire you know tra managing the trucking company those additional gameplay elements would be very welcome Although for me personally, that would be number two. Number one would be anti-aliasing and truck sounds. So let me say, maybe truck sounds, number one. Anti-aliasing, number two. And then gameplay elements, number three. That's my personal wish list. Can I squeeze in? No, he will not let me. shouldn't be allowed to post links spamming the chat <laughs> would rather drive a peterbilt with a dog bark than, than the next little sky my bad <laughs> well he was driving on my blind side so that was on him it's a it's a blind side if you don't look on it right if you don't look that side <laughs> you want fog lights Oh yeah, that's true. Those are nice to have. But yeah, I don't envy SES's possession. So many things on the wish list and uh, so much limited capacity. You live in Budapest, Richard. Hey, how are you? Welcome back, man. Tell them to get to Alex is buying, I think, a side panel. <laughs> AA first for you. Struck sounds you can use mods. Well, arguably, AA you can use NPI. So it's a, it's a workaround. But yeah, I mean, even in vanilla, I can use NPI, but in vanilla, I can't use sound mods. <laughs> so for me, sound mods are number one. 
but yes, I get your point. This is where the tastes vary. Our trailer with open doors and was captioned, there might be a surprise. I didn't see that at all. When was that? Was that by SES? Uh, might be a bit late for that, Usman. <laughs> it may or may not have happened already. You won't get anything from me. My lips are sealed. You saw it live, you think it was just a joke. I don't think they will joke at something that serious from a truck sim fan's perspective. That will get our hopes up. SES Twitter SES MP Yes, I am very interested So we can all truck together I am interested Maybe add something to that I would be very interested if they allowed mods in it Because otherwise I would just play Truckers MP <coughs> But yes because if it's something like an, a farm sim server, I would happily rent a dedicated server for us. So the cool kids can drive, we can drive together with the cool kids and uh, make it always a mayhem kind of thing every Friday. Because I would not have limits on the mods I can enable. So win-win. I can have mods and drive with you guys. Super cool. So yes, I am excited for that very much. Thanks for following Olaf. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Hanging out with uh, these hooligans. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes, Animal Hospital. Oh no. For those who have been in the channel for quite some time, you might remember the animal hospital. Spoiler, spoiler alert, it's not really a hospital. But uh, we made lots of money with that in FarmSim. Man, those were the days, huh? Jack built a mansion and everything using funds from that hospital. <laughs> oh, bridge. Waiting for the sunset. Accessory mods, not truck mods. That's a very good point. If it's a truck mod, it would need to have the LOD. Otherwise, players would need to load in the entire exterior model, which can be a bit heavy on the frames. There would need to be a a different kind of model for MP. Yikes, that's scary. Yeah, otherwise it can be very heavy in performance. Oh, look at this. Where interior blue light is showing now. That's cool. Can I squeeze in, please? Thank you. Night has come and the lighting is coming out. Yes. Couldn't see that at all in the morning. It's actually very cool looking, huh? Fits the truck very well. Huh. Bit strange though. It seems like the lights are seeping out of the truck somewhat. Sorry for my poor driving. But yeah, looks like it's a bit too strong. I wonder if we can change that using the dashboard light slider. Not really. But we can tweak that here at least, this one. Yeah. Good. They said if you walk through that trailer, you'll come out on the other side in ATS. Ah. So is that a hint of a walking feature or is that a hint of connecting both ETS and ATS? The plot thickens. Let's go and drive in at night for quite some time, for a bit more time. Enjoy it a bit, and then when it gets pitch black, I'll find somewhere to sleep. 
but so we can enjoy some night driving in the process. The horns are also blue, yeah. I think it's bleeding up there. The lights are bleeding outside the truck, which is a bit weird. For me, these are the kinds of issues that, yes, they are issues, but it's not really a big deal for me, although I can understand how they can be a big deal to someone else. But for me, these are the minor things. For me, this kind of thing bleeding out side is something like same level as grass on the road kind of bug. Now, it requires some tweaking, yes, but it's not a deal breaker. So I don't mind it that much. But then again, I, I rarely go out of my truck, right? I rarely go to exterior view. But yeah, this is not looking good. <laughs> the darker it gets, the scarier that looks. How do I get these blue lights in the interior? I have these options, but weren't they default? Because in the interior here, when you pick the dot right here in the center of the screen, I have an option for blue. Red is the default, but you can have blue, uh, green. Yeah, you're right. That might be from a mod, huh? I might just have left that in, and maybe it's bugged, actually. That's a good point. Maybe this is not really an SES bug, but rather... Because this is from a mod, and that mod most likely hasn't been updated yet because it's from the Steam Workshop, where nothing is compatible with 140 yet, especially the lights. That might be actually a bug. Let's test it out later, I'll switch back to a red one, or remove it altogether. You have just the red one, I see, okay. Although Eugene's next-gen mod is incompatible right now, that shouldn't be. I think I do have an interior lights mod though. Cabin lighting for the next-gen Scania. Um, let's see, how do we do this? Can we stop here in the middle? Let's have a look. Let's go to the map here. Because if we look at the area, so we are approaching... Okay, there's a mechanic here. Alright. Hang on tight, hang on a bit, and then we'll do some investigations. You know how technical we are in this group. <laughs> Sometimes that's a bit too sarcastic. But let, let's see. Okay, let's test if we'll get an echo inside this tunnel. They fixed this already. This particular tunnel. Nada. Nada. So I think it will require a collective effort from everyone to report each and every tunnel so that an echo can get added. Yikes. Yeah, that does look too strong now. No wonder it seems too strong. A clumsy specialty mod. <laughs> Even the lights are clumsy. disaster you heard the echo but it was very slight oh was there I didn't notice it at all RGB light mods yes you heard the echo too dang it <laughs> I missed it especially at the end of the tunnel ah I see Reverse, yes, reverse. We need to test it again. Someone clipped that tunnel scene so we can review it after. Post it in Truxim channel in Discord. There we go, okay. Truck shop B. Don't hear an echo either. Yeah, there's no echo. You guys are imagining things. Would you trust your ears or Max's? <laughs> uh, 
Let me end this time. Yeah, should be better. <laughs> I know, right? What you heard was the echo of my voice. <laughs> the reverb from my voice. Too bad Rohan isn't here. The clip master. Okay, yeah, it's a bit too strong. If we make it red, will it work? Let's see. And we can see which mod it's coming from here, supposedly. That's the one. Background lights and V8 back panels for the Scania RNS. Yes, exactly. That's from the Steam Workshop, I think. So if you pick red, that should be the default. So that should be okay in terms of lighting. So let's test it out. There you go. That is much more subtle. Not screaming at you. And it's not seeping over either. So if we report this in the SES forums, it will get tagged as mod. <laughs> Mystery solved. Hey Lucy! Clumsified. Yes. Master Drifter. <laughs> Did you guys race together already? Good. Okay. Let's continue. Off we go. Yeah, that's a lot more subtle. Huh? We need more emojis here. Yes, true. Too bad Twitch only allows two, actually three, but mostly one for subs. Although you can unlock it using points. By the way, can we test the sound alerts again if it's working now? I think there was a bug before, problem with the server side. Just pick a cheap one so it doesn't consume many points from your end in case it doesn't work. So you can't blame me so much. That played on my end. Does it for you as well? I think that works. A few moments later. It's back, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So sometimes I guess there is a problem on the Twitch side of the server side. Oh no. <laughs> I think I opened the floodgates. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Definitely agree. Yes. That applause is for Max. ferry trip is because what time is it right now um, 10 p.m. okay let's see if we need to sleep or we can just ride, ride the ferry and then when we get to where we're going now I'm not even sure if we're going to France or Italy Olbia where is Olbia guys is that in the northern or southern island I forget the names the southern island is under Italy right the northern one is in, in France, is uh, in scope of France. That much I can remember. Corsica. Which one is that? The north one? <laughs> Sound effect fest, yes. True. Should we try manual? Let me try going manual here. <laughs> because some people might unsub. I just drive automatic. <laughs> Hard to please, folks. I do like that red hue from the stoplight. 
looks like cyberpunk from here. Where are the volume sliders for external noises? What external noises? <coughs> V8 back panel mod. Ah, yes, I have that. But yeah, I think the lighting is still bugged. That's part of the blue light that we saw a while ago, I think. Tunnel noises, I see. I do have the reverb on, I think. Yes. The cabin is not. Well, let's take that as well. No, I don't think it should be a matter of the echo from outside. The road sounds are in the middle. Is there like a reverb slider? I don't think there is. But that should be okay, I think. Let me know if you see some other settings. We came in right before I entered the workshop. Ah, okay. You didn't see the fancy blue lights? Oh yeah, it was way bugged. It was so strong, it actually was seeping out into the air horn above, outside the truck. But yeah, this red one is a lot more subtle. Lots of very cool things coming up in the next few weeks, guys. We have confirmation of the CRJ and Microsoft Flight Sim coming. The first truly study level airliner in Microsoft Flight Simulator. There's a huge promise for that. I hope it doesn't disappoint. I don't think it will. And I should get access to that, although not early access. That's something you, look, you can look forward to. We'll be getting into the airliners finally. A lot of people have been waiting for that. So lots of good things in the flight sim department. But also, I will definitely be getting into the bus as well when it comes out. So that's something to look forward to for our bus simulator fans. And especially for truck sim, for sure. We have a lot of nice, cool things coming up. We have Iberia. Will we have more? Who knows? We will see. <laughs> I have no idea either. But you know SES. SES always has something up their sleeve, so I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. So it's pretty cool. These are cool times. Regardless of which simulator you are a fan of, you can expect some good things coming up soon. But if you're a fan of all of them, like me, then you are in for a treat. Still don't have confirmation of your 3090. Well, at least you bought it already, so in case something comes up, we'll get it. Goodness, pretty pricey, huh? You want to use Eugene trucks that lights are not affected. Ah, so I can just change the version in the manifest file. And it will work fine. That's fancy. Why does it look dark here? It's weird, huh? Like the light is are shiny but dark. Oh that's nice. Is that part of the start the stopping sounds? Porto Vecchio. Uh it looks like 14 hours, okay. So we should be arriving around what? 12 noon? And there we go, full daytime. Yeah, who watched the stream from SES yesterday? Spill the beans, how was it? You guys notice any improvements on sounds? Oh, and I don't have the air pressure um, simulation. Let's turn it on so I can hear the custom sounds for it. A uh, realistic thingy. That's a technical term. Air brake simulation, I think. Here it is. So 
if we look at the gauge, that's the one. Pressure is low, it's building up. Okay, I think we can speed that up by revving up. There we go. I'm actually not sure if this is effective in in the sim. Or if it just rises up at a steady pace regardless. Because it does seem to be climbing even if I do nothing. Although it does seem slower, doesn't it? So I guess this should be the perfect time where we should hear the compressor, huh? But due to engine limitations, can't really time it together with that buildup. <clears throat> Already paid. Hey okay, Yusuf, Brad Keslowski. Not sure who that is, but I'm sure he's a good-looking guy. <laughs> Okay, you can ban me. I give you permission. <laughs> Let's get going. Right, off we go. Send the 3070. <laughs> I'm sure he's had plenty of offers like that. I actually have my 1070 still sitting here as a backup. That might have that might actually be increasing in price, huh? Especially with the scarcities these days. Your modest distance as all. <laughs> I know, right? My humility knows no bounds. Exactly what Rohan said, yes exactly. I remember that. He was asking for the 3070. <laughs> but he has a 2080 super already. <laughs> what a greedy guy. Well, it's definitely an upgrade, but not that much. I think it would better serve other people. With way lower end GPUs. That's the compressor, right? Ah, I hear it. I recognize it now. It's very subtle though. I like it. Mrs. Clumsy is doing fine. Yes, she's uh, right here. <laughs> busy <laughs> thanks for asking hey blah yar how's it going what have you been up to hopefully no frankenstein trucks i think it's been a while since you frankensteined anything too busy in snow runner <laughs> too busy saving jack maybe porto vecchio ay 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 fast <sighs> let's drive safer can't buy a GPU that consumes a lot of power yeah yeah it, it is a an additional hassle if you need to upgrade your, your power supply Forty-nine inch ultra wide. My goodness, ultra wides are becoming a thing these days, huh? Does anyone have an ultra wide here in this chat? It's a great compromise. Not really a compromise. It's a great solution. Middle of triple monitor and the normal sixteen to nine aspect ratio, but. You don't get any hassle because it's all one monitor so you don't need 
extra cables extra settings like nvidia surround or whatnot just choose that resolution and you're good but my, me personally i'm not very um the the concept of an ultra wide is great but i'm not used to having like how do you say i'm used to maximizing my windows you know so i would need a third party tool that splits the screen in certain sections so that even if i try to maximize it it only fills that area i've seen some videos which uh, showcase that so it's very useful for ultra wides because maximizing windows in ultra wides is a bit of a shame a bit of a waste of space <clears throat> except if it's a game for sure You haven't touched trucking in a few months, burned out. What, what are you playing recently? Was it World of Warships that I saw you were playing? Sharing in Discord. It is easier to drive an ultra wide than 3 times 2k monitors. Oh, you mean easier on the PC? Yeah, true. The only disadvantage is if you have an ultra wide versus you drive a triple monitor setup in trucking. You won't get to see end-to-end -end the mirrors, I think, in ultra-wide. I think in ultra-wide you'll see only up to this point, but you won't really see up to that point where you see the mirrors themselves. I might be wrong, but I think it won't be as like full as in a triple monitor setup. So with trucking, I would still go with triple monitors if possible. Because there is there is something to be said like with head tracking and everything it's nice, but you lose that peripheral vision, right? In in real life, if you look here, you would still be able to see a little bit of your right through your periphery. But with this one, it gets cut off literally. But if you have a triple monitor setup, you get that peripheral vision back. So even if you look right to your right side mirror, you still get to see what's in front somewhat through your periphery. It's quite uh, it's a different experience, yeah, and you get to appreciate it when you get it back. Three by two K. Yeah, it's perfect for trucking. That's why you got the track IR. So do you truck with track IR plus triple monitors? Doesn't it get the uh, dizzying? <clears throat> I think I tried it a bit, but I turned it off. Uh, with triple monitors, I don't like moving the camera as much. That's more of a personal preference, though. Oh, they're not really turning right, huh? Bending right. Five M. Five M. What is that? Server coding. <clears throat> Do we need fuel? Not really. Not even half. Nice scenic drive here. Reminds me a bit of Grand Utopia. Right, yeah. Triple monitors don't need track IR, but with ultra wide, yeah, that's true. Ultra wide plus track track IR, I think, works great. You get a bit of middle ground between 16 to 9 with track IR and triple monitor without track IR. Oh, this is very nice. I think we'll take a photo here. Yeah, I remember Grand Utopia with these views. How ultra wide are we talking? That's true. There are different levels of them. Don't they have different terms for them depending on how ultra wide it gets? I really like that view, you know, the like the cascading houses. 
layered houses like that feels so European in a way. <clears throat> I like 32 to 9 screens. That's literally two monitors combined into one. Cool stuff. You hear the music? That's the intro. Smooth Drops is the name of the song from Abstraction. Cool. Nice. Haven't heard that full song in a long time. Ultra wide and super ultra wide. Ah, okay. So ultra wide is what 21 to 9, and then ultra wide is 32 to 9. Where's the music coming from? From the stereo player in the truck. Where else? <laughs> no, <laughs> I have an external music player. <clears throat> Surviving Mars is now free on Epic. Nice. Play that game a bit. Very interesting mechanics. Very interesting concepts. Some things you wouldn't realize that are like how different it is in Mars. That is the game I'm imagining, right? The uh, city builder based in Mars? Or is that a different game? <laughs> I think we played that on stream if I remember correctly. Is it 80 kilometers per hour on these roads? My goodness, that looks scary. You can go as fast as you go on the highway. Welcome to another video. Yeah, that sounds like the intro, huh? Man, I love the lighting. Especially when I look through the side mirror and the reflections. That just looks so real. Even without shadows. I, I barely recognize the lack of shadows anymore. City Builder. Ah, yes, that's the one. 50% off on RDR2. I think I got it at... Was it 50 or 30 off I got it? Yeah. I haven't been able to play it in a long time though. So immersed in flight sim at the moment. Yeah, I bought the plane that I was trying out. The, the arrow for those of you who were able to join the streams, the videos. Just flight's arrow came out and I bought it even if I had a test version. So I wanted to support them. Even if it was a bit pricey, it's almost like a triple A game for a single plane, a GA plane at that. But Welcome to flight simulation. <laughs> I'll gladly pay for quality. And that's why I don't have other games. <laughs> Yikes. Played a lot of Planet Base back in the day. Uh, is it very similar? I guess, huh? Yeah, I like the concepts in Surviving Mars. It's a very nice game. What's... Uh, there is a, a new... Early Access game, relatively new. I think Squirrel has been pretty fond of it recently. I think something like Factorio and... Uh, what was that game we were playing? Satisfactory? But you can like build stuff on different planets. If you're into that kind of game, that might ring a bell for you. You could. <clears throat> What's CSP again? You're new to AC. I don't even know any of those acronyms that you mentioned. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, what is that guy doing? guy is a proud member of the clumsy trucking community 
yeah, and now he's reversing, going to smash into the, the, the car behind him. <laughs> Beautiful. Not me in an accident for a change. Custom shaders patch. Ah, is this Aceto? I see. Ah, I see. I see. Okay, I'm with you now. Nice. Yeah, these guys are the racers in the in the group. They will happily race with you and butcher you. <laughs> Tyson Spear program. Yes, that's the one. I've heard very good things about it. I haven't had time to check it out though. Yeah, I haven't had the time to check out most of the other games, unfortunately. I haven't even checked out Airport CEO since its full release. It got fully released uh, early March, I think. <laughs> yeah, there are some very passionate guys here who play AC. The only AC I play with is air conditioning. But um, <laughs> Oh my goodness. I blame Alex and Jack. Stop. Go. Man, there's lots of roundabouts here, huh? Can't build momentum driving. It's just, I guess, the point exactly, because you need to slow down. <laughs> Clumsy Geek Ray Squad. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Dyson? Dyson Vacuum? Oh yeah, that one I know. Soon I will have to play with you. Oh man, please no. Let's fly together instead. I would be game with that. Group flights, anyone? Jack will show you his skills. Now he's he's able to control his plane now. Did you manage to get your what what was your did you have a side tech thing? Or you have the the yoke, right? The Cytec yoke, was it? Yeah, I think you have the full set. Which one do you use to fly? By the way, for those have the, who have the Piper Arrow, for those who bought it from Just Flight, there is a tip from the developers. I was reading the forums. They recommend to set the sensitivity to zero in your flight controls because that plane was specifically designed for 0% sensitivity and other values will uh, create a less than ideal experience so I will be testing that out myself because I think I have negative 25 or negative 50 even for some of my controls <clears throat> race, 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 fly, fly, fly <laughs> Good luck, Max. <laughs> Flying's for people who want to look at the fast and cool people who are driving fast on the ground. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have no complaint against that. Jack only has fingers for sniping. You're using the X-52. Ah, yes. Very nice joystick. Doesn't feel like a toy at all, I think, right? Why is it that more people, well at least from what I've seen, are playing AC than ACC? Is the newer game not as good? Am 
might have opened a whole new debate there. Ooh, coffee. You can mod AC. Oh, ACC, you can't anymore? Oh, that's a pity. Why would they turn off modding for the newer game? That seems like a shame. Lots of races lined up. Nice. Even though it's older, it's better. More variety in cars. Ah, different engine. But are mods still supported? It's just that no one has ported over the old mods or it's really not allowed is it a learning curve kind of issue without actual modding tools ah. ACC only includes a GT3 and 4 cars I see so do they still support AC, the developers? Or is it like uh, it's it's in final version now and they only continue updating ACC? Because that does seem kind of limiting, having only the, what is it, GT3 and 4. Those are the racer-looking cars, I guess. Huh? <laughs> is this where we're going? I hope so. I'm just looking and just following the GPS blindly. There's the compressor. Ah, I know it now. <sighs> One sixteen is the final version. That's a weird decision, huh? They chose to move on to a new game, but it has a lot of... Well, I guess in a way... Yeah, it might not be as weird as I thought. No. I think about it because from the way I'm so that was a road <laughs> we got through there by sheer luck easy doesn't get updates anymore yeah I'm sure it's great just not really into the racing genre at the moment at least <clears throat> where am I here I'm looking for my gear going to say something I'm trying to remember lost my train of thought ah yes so how you mention it ACC only has limited cars compared to AC and it's not compatible with mods at least not from the the mods that the community has built up so it does sound very limiting it's an interesting approach by the developers so I guess the community as a whole look for do more people play AC still? <clears throat> still a big community making mods and organizing events in AC, I see. Manager, all the Japan highways. My goodness, sounds like Project Japan. Ported over for the models. Uh, yeah, some copyright issues there, huh? 
Well, that's understandable. They can't officially support it. But it doesn't mean that they can... That they have to close down modding for good, I guess. I like the sound of the shifting sound, the gear shifting. Oh, I also have that problem. Got some comments about that in YouTube. People were complaining about the shimmering lights. Which is more apparent when you don't have NPI tweaks. Or even if you do, but if you're on 1080. But even for me, at 1440 with NPI tweaks, I still see some of them. Not much of a deal breaker for me though, personally, I can live with that. It's not too uh, distracting. Compressor kicking in. percent free nice racing stuff there used to be a time when I was very much into racing but that was the super old school days like PS2 I think I think I was playing Gran Turismo then with my friends. First time I got exposed to racing. It's nice. You start off with the... Uh, what was that? Miata? MX-5 was it? I still remember that. That small like... Um, open... How do you call it? The uh, convertible. It's a very small car. Very nice. I think you start with that and then you get the different licenses I like I like that career mode very much it actually feels like you're working towards something not just like a sandbox but you're, there's really a career mode a progression that's something that's the level of career mode I would hope for truck sim you know, actually getting license actually getting all the different permits and whatnot Nice lighting in here, especially if you look in the mirror. Season mod. That would be great to have in truck sim. Well, we do have it to a point, at least visually. Thanks to mods, mainly Grimes season mods. It's a bit limited. That's the extent. Looks good though. Miata is always the answer. <laughs> nice acronym. Are we inside the city now? Yes, I get her. Nice. Not sure if I've been here before. Probably forgot all about it. But I didn't expect like a full-blown city here. So expecting more like countryside kind of vibes. This feels like Grand Utopia again. Oh, there we go. Now it got cut off. Now we're out of the city again. And now I think we have to sleep. Does ETS still have that same bug with the red textures? And that is that still a problem in ETS? In the last silent trucking video that actually popped up out of nowhere, I had to do my magic sleeping maneuver <laughs> to fix that. <clears throat> Breaks immersion just a tad when you see a red sky which says missing textures. change the season on the fly that's super cool texture not found weather <laughs> yeah 
looks very ominous. It's okay, no problem. Get it out of your systems. The racing itch. I can definitely see the passion there. Glad to see you guys are enjoying that. I will live my racing uh, preferences through you. That may be a dangerous thing. External view. I kind of liked how the city looked from afar, seeing the skyline at night. It gave some nice reflections, some nice lighting rather. <laughs> Feel free to join Discord, Max, if you aren't there yet. There are lots of photos in the race sim channel as well from these guys, all looking very classy. And me salivating and hoping for that kind of graphics in truck sim. Thank you. <laughs> That's great to hear, Calvin. Great to hear. What are you drawing? Is that a hobby or is that for school? Work. I guess we can sleep there. What time is it? 11 and we have 53 hours. Oh yeah, that's the problem. We can sleep there at that stop. Ah, perfect. Thanks, Maxi, there. Fifty year? Oh, that's good. <clears throat> I must say, I miss driving the next gen Scania. I often stay away from it as I mentioned a while ago because uh, too many people are using it already. And it doesn't feel as special anymore when you're when you all have the same thing. So it loses its uh, like appeal for me. So I, I tend to try a different one, but I'll gladly make an exception for these sounds. <clears throat> Tune this AC car engine to the real life specs, wow. You can actually do that there, huh? Hobby that turned into many requests from people, cool. Is that something you earn from? What do they ask you to draw? Sounds fancy, man. So we should be able to sleep somewhere here on the side. This one, yes. Crafts and stuff, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sounds exciting. Alright. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Night lighting is good and all, but still like it better when it's daytime. <laughs> 4 a.m., my goodness. Have a great weekend, man. Happy racing. <laughs> Enjoy and good luck with the 3090. Let us know when you hear some news. I won't refuel anymore. Still plenty of fuel. Rewriting units for ETS to ETS lights. Oh, sounds hardcore. By the way, is there any news from John Ruda? I saw that he was posting a couple of photos, I'm not sure if that was just mainly marketing or cleaning up his or organizing his Facebook page or if there's a, an update coming up. I saw a couple of screenshots from his W900, from the Scania T next gen, from the... I, I didn't know he had the Scania R as well. Interesting stuff. 
I was kind of hoping that he was close to releasing the W900 release updates, the massive update for his highway killer. So aside from the next gen Scania, what are you guys driving at the moment? <laughs> I mostly go with the sound mods. Oh yeah, I, I remember, I think it was Epeli who mentioned uh, Vadex DAF XF has been updated. That is one of my favorite trucks as well. I love the customization, especially in the interior of that truck. It looks very Dutch. Very fancy look of the truck. Although I'm not sure if there are nice sounds from it. Hmm. Can't remember. I think the best we had was the, if I remember correctly, the old sounds from EVR that have been remixed by RJ Productions, I think. Which is good, but I think it's a bit comparing to, with these sounds from Max, from Zemo, from Krishbom, these latest ones, I think it's a bit behind the times now. The standards are getting higher and higher. There we go. Updated ETS mods for 140. Thanks, Alex. Ah, I see. Okay. Let's wait then. Maybe he's waiting for the public release of 140 before he releases that, even if he is prepared. Oh, oh I hate buses. Standard D616 for old gen Scania 5 and 6 series. Ooh. I saw a story from Zmod. He was recording a Scania 164. Is that what you mean? A Scania T164 was in was in his Facebook story. Hey Alpha Star. Good morning, how are you? Glad you made it to the stream. Dotic is also updating his one MP2 for 140. Nice. Yeah, that would be a perfect combination with your MP2, MP3 sounds. I haven't been able to check it out because I'm waiting for a 140 compatible truck that has nice textures. Yeah, Dotic does great stuff. Isn't the black edition from him? I think I remember that. MP2 Black Edition, was it? <clears throat> I was going to say something, one second, what was it? Uh, was it about sounds? Oh, the Scania 3 series. Someone was working on it, right? In the forums, I think it's still work in progress might take a while but uh, I think they are building it from scratch or no, I think they're reusing the 3d models from someone but the 3d models are much better than what we had from, from equalizer was it I like that even more classic than the 4 series when I last checked the forums though when, from what I remember, that 3 series that was in progress was headed by Muhammad. But when I last checked the forums, I didn't see it under Muhammad's name. So I'm not sure if he changed usernames or if I just remember wrong or if that's a different project altogether. I think Epeli is one of the contributors in that project. I think he did the paint job, if I, if I remember the credits correctly. Hey Miles! How are you? Welcome back. <gasps> Train crossing sound. Where? There, there, there. <sighs> I 
I'll take it. I'll take it. Goosebumps. Um, is there one more? Is this the same problem we had before? I think we had the same problem in this area. Oh, there's one more. There you go. Goose bumps all over. Love the crispy sound of like the. Whoa, that was fast. <laughs> You can actually hear going through the rails, going over the rails. So good. Have a good night, Jack. Catch you in flight sim soon, man. Have a great weekend. More impromptu flights. We tried to convert it to F mod. Doesn't sound that bad. Nice. It's great to hear, Max. Yeah, EVR hasn't been the most responsive, although he, ha he made a post recently that he's back and now he actually has a dedicated community manager to reply to the email, so maybe this time it will be easier to contact him if you try. If that's implemented already. That would be great, right? getting more updated, high quality Daf XF sounds of it with Vadix. New MANTJ in the works, nice. So, any news on that 3 series? I'll have to look in the forums again. I think there's no. It's, it's not yet ready for release. Oh no. Emoji King. <laughs> How are you, Rohan? Run. Class is done. Now that I know what I'm looking for, I actually hear the compressor every time it triggers now. Very nice. Initially, I would have just attributed it to the engine sound, the idle sound of the engine. But yeah, it is very different, huh? Quite nice. And I like these custom skins from Shumi. These are from real companies, I guess, huh? European companies. Hopefully this, this is not a Finnish company, otherwise we might get some harsh comments again in YouTube. <laughs> oh, love it. If you don't know the backstory to that, watch the past couple of videos. Last two videos, I think, in ETS2 in YouTube. And I love those idle sounds. Mm. Might not be perfectly aligned here, but we can make it work. Yes. There we go. The hissiest truck ever. Be great, Max. Keeping my fingers crossed that it works.
Yeah, exactly, Alpha Star. The truck itself by Vadik is amazing. I think it's the best DAF XF I've driven. One of my favorite trucks. But the sounds, we have to have some matching nice sounds with it. Or AM. Goodness, have a good night, Calvin. Happy weekend. Some stuff. Right, where are we going next? Yeah, have a look at the map. Gruber. So we are right here on the. Ah, okay, so that's where we went. I had no idea we went there. So is there a ferry? There is a ferry here. But not really. Maybe we can go south. Yes. Let's go over Italy. Let's see what jobs are available. I want to go back there. Napoli. Could work. Or Palermo. Yeah, why not? Palermo looks good. It's always nice. Very scenic view. How much time do we have? We have time for around 500 kilometer job, I guess. Something around this point. I guess we can go with that. Let's take Palermo. Two tons, wow. Okay, well I can take that regardless. <clears throat> um, what does that mean I have to drive over at the beginning? I think so. Yeah, I read through that a bit as well because I wanted to edit some stuff before. I can't remember which engine sound it was. So I had to look at Harvin. Was it Harvin? Was it Robinicus? I think Harvin had a video tutorial on it. Robinicus had a forum post on it, super detailed. Just a bit beyond me. I would need to spend more time on it and I got lazy. So I didn't continue. Very good, yes indeed. And I like how different it sounds. It's a lot more, how would they say, refined. Hey, let's go for clumsy trucking. Because the blue and red might not fit so much. But that one just might. Refrigerated clumsy trucking logo. So it's perfect for when you, when I'm in the mood for some classic trucking with very raw, very, uh, how do you say, yeah, raw sounds. I would go with Zmods V8, Scania for the 4 series, and when I'm in the mood for some more refined, more modern sound trucking, then I hop onto the next gen Scania with Max's sounds. So both sounds still have a place depending on your mood it's perfect definitely a win for the community that looks good come on there we go Doesn't look bad. I can take that. Yeah, true. And all those little details, right? The ones that you guys notice as well. Not just the engine, but everything else. 
the actual engine sounds and everything else all the, all the hisses all the whines and whatnot for following welcome to the channel don't forget the verse <laughs> exactly the verse that's the number one thing hey radicus thanks for following man appreciate it welcome are you a trucking fan as well <laughs> Quite nice. I think it's been a while since I've driven here in these parts. They look properly modern. None of the usual complaints that we've had in the very old areas of ETS2. Yikes! Rip engine. Good luck, Max. Hope so too. Let's take a photo here after this bus. Not sure. I think he's done. Because he posted already in Facebook that he's back. There's the intro again. It actually sounds weird hearing this the full song. They're like I'm expecting a certain tune and I'm getting something else. Quite nice though. Lots of twists. Some of them, some of them got updated, but most haven't, I think. Bridge shot, exactly. Oh, one second. Second, we're going through the right road. Yes, exactly. This is where I wanted to go. Different road from before. Nice. Later today, the video will be flight sim. It will be an on-air episode. It has been a while, and I'm flying in Hawaii. Learned a lot of things there. Very nice that combination of flight sim and that bush talk radio with the audio virtual tours. I'm still hoping for something like that here in truck sim because it adds so much context. When I mean, you're seeing something that looks cool, a specific landmark, a volcano and whatnot, you want to learn more about it. That bush talk radio thing is exactly what I'm hoping for. You get to see it in the sim and you get to hear some trivia about it. And in Hawaii, the, the volcanoes are plentiful from what I learned. And they are all over the place. And yeah, things like shield volcanoes, which I, I never heard of before. Learn some new stuff in there. Great stuff. Maybe we can have push talk radio here in Truxim too. How would you sync that though? The map is not one is to one. You'll have to just play it manually, I guess. If you're in the vicinity, you look for points of interest and you play it manually on the browser. That might work. Just to add a bit of context to what we are driving on. <laughs> exactly, Alex. She might have a hard time uh, catching up with all those landmarks. 
Yeah, it would be a nice addition, especially with Iberia. That's very true. You might try something like that. Hmm. Now, if there was a way for Truxim, I think I, I, I started this topic before, this, this, uh, along these lines. Because like in Flight Sim, how it works is you have a plugin that connects to Flight Sim, to Microsoft Flight Sim. It gets your location where you are in the world. And then it uploads that to the server in Bush Talk Radio server. So that when you go to the bushtalkradio.com website, it sees where you are. Okay, you're, you're this one. Right? And that's cool. So technically... If Truxim had a one-is-to-one -one map with the, the world, you could also do that even if it's a different game. And all you would need to develop is that plugin that gets the location and then uploads it to the server. But because we have this one-is-to-19 scale, it's not as simple. In fact, it's downright impossible, I guess. <laughs> but maybe it would be enough to have like a general location. like that plugin would need to translate in a way and it will be very inaccurate but at least you'll get the ballpark figure of where you are like okay you, it knows you're here in this exact highway in the game but when it uploads to the server where are you in real life in a one is to one map scale it's going to be pretty challenging but if you can do that and if like the bush talk radio guys are amenable to that we might actually be able to integrate. So not only flight sim, but also truck sim, you get those, those tours. Mm, interesting project. Might be not technically feasible though with the scaling. But it's a good thing to wish for. But yeah, at the very least, because in Bush Talk Radio, you can play stuff. So even if your truck, even if it has no idea where your truck, where your plane is, you can still just browse the map in their website and just look at the points of interest and just play them. You know, so it's like just like Wikipedia on a map, something that is like that, and someone with the lady's voice. So it might actually work. It will just have to be a bit manual, but at least we'll get some context about it. We won't have to Google everything every time. We'll see. We'll try it out. When Iberia comes out, we'll open Bush Talk Radio on the side. We'll look for possible landmarks and we'll see if we see them in the game. We'll play it in there. Do some kind of um, virtual tour. <clears throat> APIs aren't supported in ETS to an ATS. Well, we do have plugins. And like, for example, the plugin for Logit, it can already detect your location. Right, and spit it out so if you go to the log it the vtlog.net website right now i think you can actually see me there on the truxim map but i think the main problem is how to link that with the real world map the one is the one map i think that would be the main challenge because we have um, yeah we don't have APIs but we do have telemetry so we can get the truck information like where it is how fast it's going like this overlay that you see in the lower left that's from the telemetry so that's technically a browser that overlay that gets data from the sim and the truck location is one of those data points that it can get might be interesting. You will see. <clears throat> you can try. <laughs> no, if, if Alex is around, he'll give you permission. I'm not sure if you're tagged as a regular, but... <laughs> oh, there's Rohan. And it doesn't work. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that sounds reassuring. There you go. Thanks, Vla. Oh, by the way, Vla, I had a question about VT log. Is there an option to delete 
the pending jobs that are getting logged because my game crashes sometimes in the beginning while loading the game and I'm not sure if it's VT log that's responsible because when I look at the log I have so many pending jobs to submit and I think that's because you know when I take screenshots I save the game in the middle of the bridge and after my trip I load it and then I just load back the original save later on so I think that counts as a pending job so I my pending jobs kind of stack up as time goes on and I just want to clean them up like okay it's fine don't upload them at all because I'm not sure if that's causing any possible crashes on my end or it just so happened that I'm getting crashes and that's the only thing that's getting logged so I'm wrongly attributing it to that but just to reduce the possible causes of crashing I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to remove those pending jobs <laughs> are you you're breaking VT lock <laughs> I think I might be or at least I'm breaking my sim <laughs> yes exactly blah awesome it can cause crashes okay yes because I notice I'm getting more crashes crashes in ETS2 versus in ATS and when I look at the log, I have more of those pending jobs in ETS than ATS, so it might be, it might be. Thanks, that would help. <clears throat> I think that's mainly because of VT log, if you have many, too many pending jobs, from what I understand from blah. But yeah, that will help. I'm not really sure why it crashes only sometimes so it's very hard to narrow down but usually for me it crashes in the beginning like when I first load the sim so it crashes and then I load it again the second time it works already so I'm just like loading it twice and it's good <laughs> but yeah another another uh, question mark in the entire conundrum of crashing and stuttering. If you have a lot of unfinished jobs, game crashes or game upgrades, stop the jobs, log it gets overwhelmed trying to load it. Ah, I see. Alright, no worries, thanks blah, looking forward to it. Have a great weekend, man, and uh, catch you in Discord. Forty here, no problemo. There we go. Getting used to this retarder business now, instead of the Jake break. Close to the ferry, I think so. That's the one. Is that Cagliari? Not so sure. We'll just follow the GPS. So, you guys have any plans for the weekend? Um, I'm looking forward to flying more in Hawaii, learning more about it. Have you guys been in Hawaii, anyone, in real life? I'm pretty much ignorant about it, but from that basic tour that I've done yesterday, I didn't realize it could be so scary. I didn't realize there were so many active volcanoes in the vicinity. Like you are in a relatively small island with lots of volcanoes. <laughs> it's, a, it's very interesting living conditions, huh? Goodness, the people there must be very tough. Or is it not as bad as it seems in terms of volcanic activity? Because I think there has been a lot, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not that bad as in the papers, as in the books. Very interesting stuff, though. 
do it. So I am currently in the Big Island. I think that's the southern end of Hawaii. Let's make my way north, exploring more of the the landmarks, exploring the the FBOs, the bases that our VA managers have set up. I wish we could have something like that in Truxim. VT log is shaping up to be a very nice. VA or VTC system but I think we really need that kind of financing you know, so that we can be more immersed in it because right now we're just everyone's just driving and it's getting logged but we're not really there's no goal there's no progression it's just constant logging the only thing that can be progressive is the number of miles so it's mainly like a leaderboard kind of thing but there is no management aspect to it yet. It would be cool if you could add a management aspect. Like how we have it in on air in our VA. The managers in our VA are very active. Thinking of how to improve the company. And how to manage the small to big details. That would be cool. I think I'll be more interested more hooked, even more hooked to trucking than I am now if there's such a thing. Because if the in-game economy cannot has a limit, right? Maybe the external economy can be a huge factor. Because we already have all the telemetry we need. Yeah, actually in VT log you already earn money. Just can't do anything about it yet. Hey rocks. Welcome to the stream. Let me know if you have questions. With the mods list. Spring break. Nice. Now where the heck are we going, guys? Are we going to Palermo? Do you remember? <laughs> I think we're going to Palermo. I'm calling it. Okay, I think I got it right. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Alex. Let's wait for that. I do love the sounds. Etna. What is Etna? I'm not familiar with the place. Lava <laughs> Dodge LTD, yeah, exactly. Without the orange bar. Oh, they have to edit something? Cool, thanks. I'll have a look. But I'm pretty happy with my phone GPS. I'm happy enough with that mod because it disables the default GPS. <laughs> thanks, man. Have a good one. The volcano in Italy. We have two volcanoes here, right? Uh, forgot their names. I actually haven't seen how they look yet in flight sim. Bye again. <laughs> have a good one, man. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Hi and bye. Has anyone tried map mods with 140 yet? I'm too try to scare with uh, I'm too scared to try with my modded profile, but with my map modded profile that is. I think raw X there is an update, but only for 139. <laughs> Parmigiana. <laughs> 
it sounds yummy. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. These map mods work already. Grand Utopia and Pomizania. It's just the base map add-ons that I haven't tried. But the standalone ones are working for the most part. Yeah, Grand Utopia and Pomizania. Project Japan is something I'm waiting for. There's the compressor. Uh, and also, yeah, the, the other map mods that we have grown accustomed to driving in. Yeah, but the the standalones, yes. Although Project Japan, no, huh? Hmm. So yeah, maybe just Grand Utopia and Pomizania for now. Anyone tried it with Rust Map, Southern Region, and the others? <clears throat> Any brave soul? Count me out. I'll just wait for your testing. Definitely, Max. Definitely. If you ask the people here which is their favorite one is to one map or which is their favorite map period, you will get some answers that it's Pomizania. It's that good. Hey, Yasib, how have you been? Glad you were able to catch up. How's it going? Some even like it better than Grand Utopia, and that's saying a lot. Welcome back. Scotsman, you might actually get into Flight Sim soon. Because with the next major update in Flight Sim, we will be getting a fully detailed Amsterdam. <laughs> Might change your mind. <laughs> Enjoy, Max. Yeah, highly recommended. It does not have ma money. Xbox Game Pass. Isn't it $1 for the first month? to hear see yes great I'm excited for my long weekend it starts now <laughs> I'm sure he still wouldn't have it <laughs> yeah it has no money left because of Disney plus me plus <laughs> man speaking of me plus what are you guys watching Raining. Ooh. I just use the ZF 12 speed. I don't even use the crawler gears on none of the plus two stuff. Because I rarely do like heavy hauls in here anyway. So for just normal driving the 12 speed is enough. And my my muscle memory is most accustomed to the ZF 12 speed. Yeah, that's a good point though. Which trucks does use it? Which trucks do use it? In real life, the ZF12 speed. MEN? I have no idea. But looks like Scania and Volvo have their own. Train Sim. Jay screamed it the other day. Oh, how is it? Train Sim World 2, is it? Nice. I'm sure you were happy with that. Great to hear, Azim. <laughs> Have you been raking up the miles? The kilometers? Yeah, I was just talking about that before you joined, I think. That's a great really motivating thing especially if once it gets the more management aspects of things where we can use our money where we can actually maintain our fleet or stuff like that I can hardly see the lines okay there you go it's a bit off it was going zigzag all over there it is Straighten it out. 
in ATS, yes, I, I'm the same. I also use the 18 speed most of the time. <laughs> Just for more flexibility. I definitely am looking a lot for the differential though. The ratio. So that it's friendly for the highways. The one with the overdrive and the high differential, that's it. High differential is the low number, right? <laughs> Scania, Volvo, and Renault and MB use their own gearboxes. What, what are the rest? That's, that sounds like everyone. So is it only Iveco that uses ZF? <laughs> oh, we're almost level 44. That's good to know. Thank you. Yeah. Twenty eight point forty six. Nice. Well the only difference with ZF and Scania gearboxes is the the gear position, right? That's true. It would be more accurate. But my muscle memory would hate it. Oi! Goodness. What the heck? Thank you, super. I thought there was a bot who came in because my screen just got filled with notifications. My goodness, GG. <laughs> Thanks, man. Really appreciate the support, super. Super, as super as it gets. My goodness, thank you. <laughs> you weren't part of the, the uh, selection. Welcome to the Cool Kids Club, guys. Super tastic indeed. Make sure to link your Discord and Twitch accounts to get the full benefits. Oh, yeah, DAF. This is ZF. That's true. Let's try it. Let me go to the. 12 speed scan your gearbox and watch me fumble around miss gears Make it realistic like so hey jay Dirker j <laughs> welcome back man 33 months oh yeah that's so this one I'm, I'm pretty used to if you see that in the overlay i'm pretty used to this one being the first gear but with the Scania gearbox, this one is the first gear. But I think two and three, yeah, are still the same. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of one being here on the top, top middle, and four. We can get that work out somehow eventually. More TS streams when. Ban that guy. That guy with the all caps. <laughs> no advertising? Uh, Scotsman has been violating that for years. <laughs> with Disney Plus and everything. Amsterdam. Okay, if you won't move, then I'll move. Went side battle. <laughs> Ban that guy too. <laughs> Most bans in a day. Hey, goodness. Intense. The super tastic has no bounds. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it, man. GG. They went ZF with the MP4. Oh. The Volvo 12 speed. I'm not familiar what the layout is. 
I mostly just switch between the Scania and the ZF. Mostly ZF actually. We have 10 minutes left. <laughs> what can we do with that? We can drive around I guess. Poor kids club. <laughs> Should have a roll with that. Sell the trains, sell the trains. No, I'm not using Agent Scania. Does it work with 140? <laughs> Thankfully, I'm more of the simple config kind of guy. So I'm pretty happy with the basic, the default next gen plus the the Griffin. Uh, what does they call that? DLC. Scania tuning pack, basically. Um, can we get a short trip here? Four kilometers. <laughs> How about that one? Palermo to Palermo. We can take that maybe. 87. No, that won't work. Maybe that one will. You know what? Let's just go around. Yeah, we can make that work. Let's make that work here. See. Dang it, the air is missing again. Is it really like this in real life that the air pressure is decreasing throughout the night so in the morning you have to build it up? Or am I doing something wrong? That's why it's leaking. You must manually download it from the SES forums and change the manifest file. Ah. the special transport this L6 engine might not like that <clears throat> truck is leaking 28 cities is it goodness Yeah, definitely a huge area from what I've seen in the map. I was really surprised that they were able to fill it out. I was expecting some part of Spain and Portugal, but not the entire thing. Looking forward to it. Did they give any hints on the release date? I guess not, huh? You like that in real life? Ah, every Scania jumped and had no air. <laughs> I see. It's good to know, man. Always great to see the inner workings, the real life counterparts of these things we're simulating. Early April. Oh, yeah, they mentioned already that it's April, right? Cool. Spring break now for two weeks. Enjoy. What are you planning to spend your time on? More trucking. Never a bad deal. Drove an Atros 5 some weeks ago. Cool. Did it have one of those fancy mirrors? The mirror cams? you like or hate it yeah I don't think this will work guys I think we'll just drive to the the pickup point and we'll end the stream <laughs> I think by the time we get there it's time time will be up finally back to home <clears throat> oh you can go home because it's spring break nice enjoy April 2021, my goodness, that's pretty close. It's great. What is echo roll mode? That's an option in the automatic transmission. Is that equivalent to the economy adaptive transmission here in ETS2? What? Oh, 40 gram. 
Yes, please. There's the link. Thanks, Alex. That's the one I'm driving with right now. Highly recommended. Perfect for your next-gen Scania feels. Driving with them is completely different. Ah, I see. Today, it's going to be flight sim. Flying in Hawaii. Exploring some of the works of our VA managers. Echo, my favorite company. Where? Was it there? I thought it was all replaced. If I missed something, I'll edit it out myself. And that looks great, huh? That actually looks great. Can we do a last minute? Thumbnail shot. Let's see. Sorry, I was speaking with Mrs. Clumsy. Let's take a photo there. Yeah. Nice finale shot right there. Even the music goes hand in hand with it. Stay in photo mode in the stream. Sounds good. Take a few pics to end the stream. I like the sound of that. Let's see if we can find a more scenic shot or scenic bridge in the vicinity. What speed limit? If our truck can survive that at least because we might tip over anytime soon. Spring break. Singapore has spring. Yeah, we have an end of season sale. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm assuming there's a season that ended somewhere in there. Is it this one? Oh, this one indeed. Oh, oh! <laughs> and that's the end of the stream, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Anonymous. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. <laughs> The gift sub. Perfect. Perfect finale. <laughs> that was not intentional by any means. Just the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes we all need a rest. Perfect <laughs> timing. <laughs> yeah, it's my innate showman at work. Yes, I plan these things. <laughs> Went around the wind a bit too much. Yeah, I think so too. Anyway, awesome stuff, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Had an amazing time. Thanks for helping me check out Max's sounds. And Max, thanks a lot for the amazing work here and for staying for the entire stream and get giving us a bit of uh, insight into these things. Oh my goodness, Super is not done. Thank you. And now Scotsman got into it along with some of our guys. <laughs> Welcome to the Cool Kids Club, guys. That's a perfect ending to the stream. Thank you. Let me just read up on that comment by Max. Position offset lines. Ah, 
3D position is more realistic. Reverse buzzer. Ah, I see. Bit of limiting factor in the Steam Workshop. Huh? Okay, I'll stick to your local file in the meantime. Thanks, Max. Appreciate it. Looking forward to more of your works and uh, catch you soon, everybody. Appreciate the company. Have a great weekend. Catch you on Discord, okay? Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Clumsy trucking and bye-bye. Super. You're a superstar. Thank you again. <laughs> Appreciate it.